everybody welcome back to life with me I'm back with another video well this is not the video I wanted to do my husband got me a brand new camera he got me a light some lighting a whole new recording setup and you know I was reading through my book and I was you know making notes yes I'm gonna be able to record right I recorded and I saw it and I was like I am doing something wrong. <laughs> I cannot show that video. I'm like, what the? Hey everybody, welcome back to Life With Me. I'm back with another video. And in this video, I am going to be doing some lip swatches. <clears throat> and this time, I decided to do some lip swatches on my MAC Nude Lippies. So if you're interested in seeing some MAC Nude so if you're interested in seeing some matte new lippies on dark skin, just keep on watching. I mean, on that one, I couldn't figure out where to look. I couldn't figure out the lighting. I couldn't figure out um, nothing. Even though it said, oh, yeah, it's easy. Point and click. No. Anyway. So um, I'm going to have to figure out that. But for right now, I'm just going to record on my trusty webcam. I mean, so back to this video. In this video, I just decided to come to you and give a few tips. A few tips that I would recommend to transitioners or people who are just starting out in their natural hair care journey. In June, I'll be natural five years, and I'm not saying I'm an expert, but uh, I do have some things that I wish I knew or, you know, that I knew and I'm glad I did, things like that, that I just wanted to share with everybody. So, if you're interested in what I have to say to new naturals or transitioners, just keep on watching. The first thing, as black women, well, I know I this is how I grew up and how I did my daughters. We stayed away from water. Water was a no-no. No beach, no poo, no going out in the rain, no going in sprinklers unless your hair was covered. But the great thing about being natural is water is your best friend. Water is your best friend. That is, that is the best, that is a V form of moisture that you need for your hair. You don't need the you the 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 the, the products you use don't aren't supposed to moisturize your hair. It is the water in the products and the water that you use on your hair that's moisturizer. So the number one tip is water is your best friend. Don't be afraid of it. My second tip is take the time to learn your hair. Learn what it likes, learn what it dislikes, learn what products that you use to get this look or that look. Learn your hair. What products do on somebody else's hair may not do the same on yours. What curl pattern one person have, you may not have. What lengths one person gets, you may not get. Enjoy your hair. Enjoy your, your uniqueness because God doesn't make any mistakes. God doesn't mess anything up. God does not make ugly hair. Whatever you, hair you have, rock that hair, baby. Rock it okay it's unique to you tip number three is enjoy your journey especially now i have to say whether you big chop or whether you transition long term that's up to you it's your hair do whatever you want to do but whatever you do i would suggest documenting your journey in some type of way because sometimes it gets away from you and you don't realize how much your hair has grown or how much your hair has prospered and things like that so I would recommend documenting your journey in some type of way whether it's pictures whether it's a journal whether it's videos I mean that part's up to you but I would recommend documenting it in some type of way because I'm glad I did because I ended up one 
making videos on YouTube so I can use those videos. And two, I could see how my hair grew. Because there was a time I was like, my hair is not growing. And then I look up, like, yeah, my hair did grow. So that, that's one good thing about documenting your journey. And while you're documenting your journey, enjoy it. Enjoy it. You know, people always say, these, these doggone bangs. People always say, ooh, I can't wait to get my hair long. But they forget to enjoy that short, sexy TWA stage. So enjoy every stage you're in. I mean, yeah, you're going to go through the awkward stage, but still you can enjoy, you can find styles that you you like or love to use on your hair because once it grows out of that stage, those styles may not look as good or be as easy to do on your hair once it grows, grows longer. So enjoy the stage that you're in. My, my next tip is love love your hair and be careful with it. I remember when I first went natural, I'd be in the shower, I had my TW, I'd be in my shower, I'd be combing. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just detangling, detangling, detangling all this hair all over the place. I'm breaking off my hair thinking I'm doing something good. Be careful with your hair. Love it. That is your main, that is your glory. Take care of it. Learn how to take care of it and do that with it. Baby it. I mean, my husband is jealous of my hair. That's how much I baby my hair. I love it and I take care of it because I tell everybody, going natural was the best thing I have ever done for my hair. And if I had to do it all over again, yes, I would do it. And yes, I would do it the exact same way that I did it. Except I would do it sooner. So another, another thing that's important to know is Yes, you have to take care of your hair, but sometimes you do have to go to, if you can't do certain things, you have to go to a stylist, a beautician, or something like that. But please know, everybody does not know how to do natural hair. So make sure you um, do your research on who you pick to do your hair. Everybody is not shave the hair diva, baby. And if you're from Florida, but one beach, you know who I'm talking about. But anyway, you need to make sure you research your stylist and make sure they know how to do natural hair and what type of natural hair they do. Do they do just do like the curly types? Do they know how to take care of our beautiful kinky mane? Make sure they know how to do it. Ask them questions. Don't be afraid to do so. I remember I was in Colorado. This is my first, my, this is my only time I went to the stylist. I was like, oh, I don't think I need my get my ends, ends clipped. So I, re I, I thought I did research. I went in there. I was like, um, they, and they were doing my hair. They were doing my hair with mane and tail. I'm like, you know what? I'm, um, I said, I don't want you to blow my hair or anything. Can you, can you trim it without straightening? Oh, yeah, 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 I can do that. And they're picking my hair and just trimming. They're just like, oh, you want me to style it, blow it out? No, this, that's all I need. Bye. I paid them. I shouldn't even have paid them, but I paid them and I got out of there. Just because they say they do natural hair does not mean they do natural hair. So make sure you do your research. Hair is such a hair is such a personal thing. However you decide to wear your hair, that's up to you. Whether it's, whether it's relaxed, whether it's natural, whether it's jerrycurl, -er, whether it's bald, whether it's spiked. I, However you wear your hair, that's your decision. Don't let anybody make you feel bad because of your decision. You know, they always say there's natural hair, Nazis, and stuff like that. That That is wrong. Wear your hair how you want. That It is your choice. You have a choice how to wear your hair. Wear however you want. I choose to wear mine natural, but I will never knock somebody if they choose to wear their hair how they want to do it. Your, nat your hair is your your glory let it glorify you however you feel you need to be glorified well that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another